Ciao friends and welcome to a new video from SQL BI. In this video, I want to introduce a new optimization feature that appeared in Power BI, that is Horizontal Fusion. The goal of the optimization is to reduce the number of scans which are required in order to compute values on top of your model. And the benefit depends on the speed of your storage engine. You will notice uh, a much larger benefit in direct query, for example, compared with Vertipi. And then, of course, depending on the size of your model. Now, understanding horizontal fusion requires, uh, before that, to understand the concept of fusion in general. Fusion is a technique that aims to reduce the number of scans of your table. And there are two types of fusion, vertical fusion and horizontal fusion. Vertical fusion has been there for a while, whereas horizontal fusion is the new feature. Let me start under introducing the concept of fusion, then we will quickly look at vertical fusion, and finally we will introduce horizontal fusion. Let's start with the demo. I have here my usual contours model, there's nothing fancy about that, it's just a regular model. Before starting talking about vertical fusion, let me show you that if I go under options and setting and options, I have under the preview features here horizontal fusion. Right now, horizontal fusion is disabled, but vertical fusion is there because it has been there for a long time. So, what is fusion at all? Fusion tries to reduce the number of scans of your model in order to compute values. And it's easier if uh, we start writing code in DAX Studio and we understand how Fusion works. So let me start opening DAX Studio, place it on the right monitor, and then we start writing a simple query like evaluate, summarize columns, we group by, for example, product brand, and we compute sales, which is just the sales amount. Now, computing this calculation requires scanning once the sales table. And we can look at that if we enable the server timings and we look at the Vertipa queries executed. We run the query and under server timings, we have a bit larger. One scan that scans our sales table here, computing the expression that is quantity times net price with a joint over product. So in order to compute sales amount, we need to scan the sales table. That is kind of obvious. But what happens if I add a further condition? Uh, let me reformat the code. Not a con further condition, but a further measure. So I want the cost, no, I want the margin, which is the margin. Now let me show you the code of margin and sales amount. If we go in sales, Sales amount requires scanning the sales table computing quantity times the net price. Margin computes sales amount, the measure we have seen right now, minus the total cost. And total cost requires scanning sales and compute quantity times unit cost. Therefore, we need to compute two different calculations. Once, quantity times the net price, and a second time, quantity times the unit cost. In our code, we are computing both measures at the same time, the sales amount and the margin. The engine has the option of performing two scans of the fact table in order to compute the two values. So it will scan sales once to compute the sales, uh, to compute the sales amount, and then again scan sales in order to compute the total cost or the margin. Uh, nonetheless, scanning sales twice might be expensive. It might take a few milliseconds on a small model, but it can go to a few seconds on a large model or on a model that is using a slow storage engine. Therefore, this is where vertical fusion kicks in. Vertical fusion scans your query and tries to check whether it is possible to reduce the number of scan. Let's say that it scans sales only once and computes at the same time both the sales amount and the margin so that reducing the number of scans, it will later need to grab the values from the two columns, but it will reduce the time required to gather your values. Let's see what happens. Now we have sales amount and margin, two different measures, but if I run this code, 
you see that we have only one scan. And in a single scan, it computes a quantity times unit cost in order to compute the total cost, and then quantity times net price. Total cost and sales amount are the two ingredients of our margin measure that subtracts one from the other. So with a single scan, it is able to compute the, the full result. This is vertical fusion. Vertical fusion has been there for a while and it is already working on all of your models. Nonetheless, one requirement of vertical fusion is that the calculations need to be in the same filter context. Think about that. If I'm scanning at some point uh, the products which are red, I cannot compute a scan of the products which are blue. So if I have two calculations, sales amount for red products and sales amount for blue products, I simply cannot perform one scan of the fact table and compute both values at the same time. Nonetheless, this is exactly what horizontal fusion is going to solve. Horizontal fusion is able to reduce the number of scans even though there are different filter contexts. Right now, horizontal fusion is disabled. Therefore, I'm going to run a query with two different filter contexts and we see what happens when horizontal fusion is not enabled. Then we enable horizontal fusion and see the differences between before and after. Let's start. I need two calculations in two different filter contexts. So let's say that we write uh, uh, just one calculation is enough, but composed of two parts. One is calculate sales amount. Let's use customer country, for example, customer country equal Germany. And this is the first part of my calculation. Then I want a second part of the same calculation where I scan Italy. So this part of the calculation requires scanning sales only for customers living in Germany. And this part requires scanning the sales table only for Italy. As we said, this requires two different scans of the table, one for one filter context and another one for a different filter context. If I run the query, we see that we have two different scans. The first that computes the sales amount grouped by brand where customer country equals Italy. And the second scan produces the same query, but this time where customer country equals Germany. Remember, right now, horizontal fusion is not enabled. What we are going to do next is enable it. So we go to under File, Options, and we enable the preview feature of horizontal fusion. Uh, preview feature, horizontal fusion. Just need to click OK. Uh, the feature requires restarting Power BI Desktop, so I'm going to save the file, close it, and then we open it again. Now I'm going to open again the same Power BI Desktop file, but this time Horizontal Fusion is going to be enabled. Here it is. Nothing is going to change here. But we can now look at the code. This is the very same code we were running before. I need to connect again with the model because it changed the connection properties, enable server timings again. And I'm now going to run the query. Before we had two different scans. Look what happens here. There is only one scan of sales. And the scan is interesting to look at because it computes two expressions which are absolutely the same, so there are still two columns, one for sa with sales amount and another one with sales amount. And it's not only grouping by product brand, as the quid would require, it's also grouping by customer country. And in the condition, I have where country in Germany and Italy. So this is what's happening. The engine is scanning only once the sales table, it added a filter that is the union of the filter context, and then it's grouping by the column that makes a difference between the two filter contexts. So in one scan, it obtains two rows, one containing the sales for Italy and another one containing the sales for Germany. Now, later, during the execution of the query plan, it will grab the values which are interesting and finish computing. 
So horizontal fusion reduces the number of scan, even in the case where the fetal contexts are different. It's important to note that it is not limited to the same calculation. So I can compute, for example, the sales amount and I can compute the total cost or the margin as we did before. Now I'm computing one measure for Germany, a different measure for Italy, but still horizontal fusion can kick in and reduce the number of scans. If I run this code, you will see that there is only one query being executed, one vertical query that is grouping now three measures, twice the sales amount and once the total cost in order to perform the math. And then it's grouping by country and brand, where country is in, in Germany and Italy. In order for horizontal fusion to work, you need to have different filter contexts and there are some limitations and there are some advantages. The different filter contexts need to be different for only the value of one column. Apart from that, they can be rather complex. Let me add a bit more complex code. So uh, let me format it using short line. I can add a further condition like a product color equals red. Now, if I add the condition in both calculate, let me reduce the size a bit. Now I have two filter contexts. One is Germany red, the other one is Italy red. The two filter contexts contain multiple columns, but the only difference is in the country. So if I run this code, you will see that there is still only one storage engine query that is grouping by country and brand. And in the condition, I have Germany, Italy and red. There are limitations. They do filter contexts need to be different for only one column. If uh, I scan Germany red and well, Germany red and Italy, let's say white, and I run this code. Now the two filter contexts, they are different because of two columns. And in this scenario, horizontal fusion is not going to kick in. You see that I have now two queries, one that is computing Italy white and the other one that is computing Germany and red. Therefore, the limitation is that the two, column, the two filter contexts need to be different for only one column. And there is another limitation that you need to be aware of. Let's get rid of the color. So we know that in this scenario, horizontal fusion is going to kick in because I have only one column, but there need to be only one value in each filter context. If I change this to Germany and let's say France, now, this filter context contains two values for the country. This filter context contains one value for the country. And in this scenario, horizontal fusion is not going to work. If I run this code, you see that I still have two queries. One is computing value for Italy. The other one is computing the value for Germany and France. So you need to be aware of that. We have no idea whether this limitation will be lifted at some point, but it is a limitation and it is there. Nonetheless, you can use uh, Fusion uh, in a very seamless way, and it doesn't matter the shape of the calculation that you perform. For example, I can mix a sum, sum of sales or quantity, for example. We need to have only one condition, so let's go back to equal Germany. So I might have the sum in one calculation and the average of sales quantity. These two, conditions, these two uh, aggregations can be executed in a single scan because sum is just going to, sum, uh, yes, sum. Uh, I don't, didn't want to use sum, I wanted to use min, just to change it a bit. Min requires scanning sales and searching for the minimum value of sales quantity, but it's one of the aggregations supported by Vertipack. Average, average requires to sum all the values and then compute the blank ones in order to perform a division and compute the average. Nonetheless, the two calculations can be still executed with a single scan. Uh, I have an error somewhere. Yes, a comma that I didn't want, so let me run it again. That is executed in a single scan. And the single scan computes in a single step all the aggregation. 
it searches for the minimum sales quantity, then the sum of sales quantity, and the count of the blank values in order to perform the division of sum of sales quantity by only the values that are not blank. There are, however, aggregations that are not supported by fusion. One of them, for example, is distant count. If instead of having the average of sales quantity, I compute the distant count of sales product key, for example, I have a mean in one scan, I have a distant count in the second scan, the two aggregations are implemented in such a different way that they cannot be merged in a single scan. So if I run this again, you will see that I have two different scans, one that computes the, by brand the distant count and the other one that is computed by brand the minimum of sales quantity. As you have seen, horizontal fusion is uh, an optimization that is just there and it automatically optimizes all of your code. That is specifically helpful when you have a lot of measures that compute values based on different filters. You might have the sum of products in one country or the sum of different products for different brands. And Horizontal Fusion is going to scan a reduced number of times. It's going to reduce the number of scans of all these calculations. As of now, there are still limitations, but over time, as it always happens, they will probably improve them, even though already now it's going to provide a great benefit to all of your queries. You will not notice a lot of improvement on small models, but on large models that perform this kind of calculation or on models that work with a slower storage engine, the benefit will be really huge. And all you have to do is just enable the feature. And then, of course, write the DAX code in a way that it lets you take advantage of the feature. Enjoy DAX! <laughs>